एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड माय नेम इज शाह टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन परफॉर्म अ पुट कॉल एज इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ वी कैन परफॉर्म अ पोस्ट कॉल सो फर्स्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पुट एंड पोस्ट सो व्हेन वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट सम डेटा इन माय डीबी और वेब सर्वर यूजिंग अ वेब सर्वर देन वी नीड टू परफॉर्म अ पोस्ट कॉल so post means when we have to create some data and when we need to modify that created data then we need to use a put call so when we are modifying or edit some data from my database then i have to use a put call so this is the difference between post and put same put also use a body because we have to send a body Uh, with our request what are the data which we are going to put now in my db right so let me open the same diagram which i discussed to you when i was discussing a post request now i am discussing a put request so same request uh, same structure i am using so this is my ui application and this is the ui application i at that time i created a record with id 4 and author name is s and here is a create button then i request goes to with post request and save the that data in db now i have to modify the same record which is id 4 and author name s so here i need to modify author name s and i have passed the author name is chira suppose okay now i press a edit button then a put request will send from my ui application to web server with the body this our body which has id is for and author name is now this is chira so it will send a chira and then it goes to back to our web server uh, from client to web server and web server save to that modified details with our this db so now when i uh, use a get request or fetch that request then i see that okay now id4 has a author name is chirag so this is the all workflow how the put request work right so let me open a uh, eclipse and we will create a new class which is a put class so this is a put mapper okay now i will use a main method so i create will create a main method okay now i'm using a public static void put method again i need to just import a rest assured so i will import a rest assured in static way okay so here i will imported all the method from the rest assured now i will use a will use given as it use a bdd after that i am accepting data in json type so i will take a json what kind of body i am going to send so i am sending a json body okay then what body i need to send so i have to add a body here so what kind of body is this so suppose so this is the body i have to modify id3 with api testing to put method right so i just copy this this body from here and give this body 
inside a body and what I do I have to modify the title so I will use a put method call right now what I use I have to use a when request then this is a put and I have to pass a ID over here so the URI so what kind of URI I have to I have to modify this so I will just copy all this URI from here right so currently I am just passing a hard coded ID here in future video I will show how we can create a uh, do not pass the hard URI we will create a uh, framework so that uh, we can just uh, do not uh, pass on static data we have all the dynamic data so at this time for the learning uh, various method for, for rest assured I am passing a hard coded uh, URI in put method right so after that I use a then method I just log uh, let me open this this is the log and after that here i just print our body right so this is the method right so first i will just see there is a id3 is a api testing so when we'll run this code then there should be i b so it should has mm, so it should has title is put method for instead of api testing right so right, let me run this code and we will see what will be the output so i have run this and waiting for the output or response from the server so it is taking a time as today my laptop is working a little bit slow so currently it is taking a time don't know how much time it will take to just run a simple call So meanwhile we will see this is the flow so this is the flow same as the post request flow instead of um, post we are using a put so there is a patch method also http patch so that patch method is for the partially uh, modify right so it does not modify a complete request it requests a partially modification so that time we use a patch method right so let me see and we have seen the output so the put method call is just uh, modified in title now let me open a post now i will send a send button and you can see this the put method call has been shown here so this is the way how we can use a put method or how we can modify our data which is present in database and we need to modify that data then we use a put call so this is the workflow how your application interact with the web servers through our api or web service and what are the different methods so guys hopefully you like this video and you understand a put request so in upcoming video i am going to show you how we can delete the record so thank you for watching this video bye bye take care